Hi guys, uh, welcome back to Singapore Math Tutors. So today we'll be doing the next objective of the um, elementary math syllabus. So we'll be doing direct and inverse proportion. So before we start on question, okay, um, I will go through with you guys like the different definitions, okay, directly proportional and inversely proportional definition. Okay, this two here. So it's quite straightforward, okay? In um, the exam, they will tell you that y is directly proportional to x, so therefore you will rewrite it as this. And then take note that k is a constant, okay? So immediately, right, when they um, tell you that y is directly proportional to x, write this down, write this equation down, okay? And then um, obviously there's some challenges, uh, some, you know, um, different types of uh, y equals to k, for example, uh, cube root. So when they write it, they write it in this way y is directly proportional to cube root of x so therefore you write it like that okay so it's quite simple and then as you can see right if i increase the value of x y will increase as, as uh, it will increase as well correct if i increase the value of x in here as well y will increase as well right makes sense okay so uh, um, this part is quite simple for directly proportional. So there's only two things you have to remember, directly proportional and inversely proportional. So the next one is um, inversely proportional. Okay, so basically here it says that one value decreases and then the other one will increase. So I'll, I'll explain more on that. So when we say that y is inversely proportional to x, we write it in this way, okay, just immediately write this down y equals to k over x okay or if they ask if they say y is inversely proportional to 3x right is y equals to k over 3x similarly if they say y is inversely proportional to say x square for example so it's over uh, it's k over x square and it equals to k y okay so we have to be um extremely cautious about that okay it's not 3k over x for this okay it's k over 3x okay so uh why do we say that when when we decrease one of the value the other one will increase so uh if you look at it if we increase uh say x right the denominator gets smaller correct so k say we increase from 2 to we increase k over 3, right? Obviously, uh, y is going to decrease, right? Because half is uh, bigger than one third, right? So obviously, uh, if we increase x, y will decrease. So similarly, if we decrease x, so we go the other direction, decrease from 3 to 2, for example, okay, y will increase because one third is uh, obviously um smaller than k uh um smaller than half right so uh it doesn't matter what k is k is a constant okay and just for your information okay y is inversely proportional to, uh this is the same thing as y is sorry directly um directly proportional um, to 1 over x, okay? So just take note that y is directly proportional to uh, 1 over x, okay? Okay, thank you. Uh, so I'll see you in the next lesson for uh, the questions. Thank you.